Most Montanans know the power and uncertainty of Mother Nature. On the very same day a teenager was killed by falling rocks at Glacier National Park, a cliff collapse near a group of kayakers was also caught on camera. NBC's Steve Patterson spoke with a woman who witnessed those falling rocks. Renowned for its stunning beauty, the famous Going to the Sun Road snakes through the Rocky Mountains, spanning the entire width of Montana's massive Glacier National Park. This week, it served as a tragic reminder about the inherent danger of nature. Rock fell on a car causing facial trauma. Monday, a 14-year-old girl was killed when rocks from the mountainside above the road's east tunnel rained down on her family's vehicle, piercing the back windshield, crushing the teen, and injuring her parents. Park officials say it was enough debris to fill the bed of a pickup truck. Tourist Pat Cummings was just three cars behind. She says she can still hear the mother's pleas for help. I didn't know how severely anyone was hurt, but it, it was the screams. I, you know, you knew someone was hurt. I had no idea that it was a child. First responders attempted to airlift the girl, but her condition was too unstable, following what officials are calling a freak accident. That fatal incident came the same day as another rock fall, that one in northern Michigan. Drone video captured kayakers narrowly avoiding being crushed when a large section of the cliff suddenly collapsed while they toured the scenic pictured rocks. And the sound of it coming off the, the cliff was just incredible. The tour group managed to escape without a single injury, but couldn't believe what they saw. Each rock that hit the water, it sounded like a huge firework going off. And then when the huge piece broke off, it covered all of us in dirt and some rocks. Park officials warning there's little anyone can do to avoid the destructive power of Mother Nature. For today, Steve Patterson, NBC News, Los Angeles.